Hi everyone and welcome back to our arena shooter template where we are taking the variant from Unreal Engine 5.6 and adding and fixing multiplayer for this arena shooter. As there's a lot of things that Epic have put into the variant don't actually make it work in a multiplayer setting. So we're going ahead and fixing that. So far we've replicated the characters walking around and moving just fine. Also replicated things like the UI. But now we're going to go on to the actual guns themselves. So let's jump in and take a look at how we fix this replication issue. So the first thing we need to do is we need to investigate what the actual issue is going to be. So if it's not replicating uh, the bullets, as we can see here, if I go back into the game, get a gun, and if I go and look at it, you can see it's not doing it. Okay, It's doing it on the server side, but not anywhere else. So we need to fix that, obviously. So the issue we need to fix is going to be on the weapon itself. So let's go to the, uh, not that one, the pickups here, projectiles, and first person projectile. So the first person projectile here needs to be told to be replicated. So we can go to replicates, turn it on. Next, we need to tell the gun, make sure the server is the one that's calling that fire bullet. So in weapon base here, we're going to this fire function, this fire event. And as you can see, it's going to be checking all this stuff over here. Um, I want to make sure that this is happening on the server. Now, firing should be called from the client for this to work. So if, if I go back and have a look for fire and look for, there you go, that's it getting called again. Uh, fire right away. So and start firing here. We've got run on server. Uh, I might have done that last time. I can't remember now. But we want to make sure that's run on server too. Uh, so any event that's happening should be run on server until you get back to the client-driven event. So now I'm going to look for start firing. So let's find references for that one. This time I'm going to go for all places here. Because what I'm hoping to get back to is, yet yeah, the player character, the FP shooter. Let's go to start firing there. And you just want to make sure that this is going back onto an enhanced input action. If it's, on an in, in, if, sorry, if it's on an impact action, that means it's the client that's calling it. So that's what you want. So that's all working okay there. And we should be able to now push play and see, hopefully, the bullets replicate over to the other character. Yeah? So now I can see it working there. Perfect. So, the next issue is, as you can see down the bottom, the HUD isn't updating for the gun, okay? The server side, which is this one on the right, if I get a gun for this guy, you can see it working as intended. So, we need to fix that. So, let's take a look at fixing the issues we're seeing with the uh, HUD. We need to go to the UI folder. Go to weapon counter. There it is. And we've got this event in here for update bullet counter. So now I'm doing the investigation of backtracking this through, finding where this is getting called. So it's find references by name all. And it's getting called by HUD shooter. So we go into there. That in turn is getting called by update bullet UI. Find references by all for that one. And we've got, we don't want the BPO because that's the definition of it. We don't want that. But here, FP Shooter, that sounds more like it because that is the first person player character. Let's check out those calls happening here. That's working just fine there. Um, so let's just put a breakpoint on here and see if this is getting called by the player character. Because if you're dealing with interfaces, the problem with interfaces is that it's very hard to debug because you don't know if it fails it for an invalid reason or not. Um, so that's one of the downsides to interfacing. It becomes a bit pain to um, debug. So if you do things like this, where you have to like just put breakpoints in and hope that you can get round to finding the issue. So here, we want to check that the target here is correct. So player controller, that's correct. It's valid value uh, there. But the get HUD is not correct. See how you get an unknown class value here? So that's an issue. Okay, so getting the HUD, an update 
put UI HUD. So let's work out why that's not working. So get HUD should return, it's built in function, it should return the HUD class of the player character. And the HUD class of the player character is set here to HUD shooter. So why is this not getting called? I don't know. Let's have a look. So get HUD for player controller. Create a widget counter. I'm going to add a breakpoint for this bit as well. Let's take off this one. So the update bullet counter works the first time I pick up the gun. As you saw, it, it stopped it just fine. Yeah, that's happening a okay. That's what we want. It's just when I fire afterwards, it doesn't work. So what is that issue? Let's take a look. So this is not getting the right thing. So if it is working in other places, let's find it working in other places then. So down here, when I update weapon UI, shoot an only client, that seems to be working there. That get HUD seems to be working here just fine. If I put a breakpoint on this, this should return a value just fine. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's returning a value. But if I go up to here, and that's not that one. Where is it? It is. Re enable this one. Play. And shoot the gun. That's now returning no. So what's the difference here? The player controller reference here is still valid. It's still saying BP shooter controller C1. And I could search for oh. I don't know nothing there. Okay, so what is going on here then? Because that seems to be valid down here, not up here. Interesting. Okay. So the big difference I'm seeing here is that the update weapon HUD here is getting called not by an owning client, whereas this one is an owning client. So the player controller reference for this is correct. It's going to give you the correct controller and output to get HUD. So I think that is the issue. So I need to backtrack basically this here, an update weapon HUD and tell it to only do this on the client side. Okay, you need to update it for the client. So let's make a custom event in here. I need to stop first. Custom event. And do update weapon HUD. And this is going to be ran on owning client. And then all this stuff is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to copy that, paste it down here. And chuck that across like that. So rather than calling update weapon HUD over here, we need to pass that through to this one, the update weapon HUD. So update weapon HUD. And we got that one. Yep. And we'll plug those in there. Okay, so let's see if this works now. The gun, oh, let's take that off. And now when I shoot on the client, we can see the value going down there. Exactly what we want. And then it resets when I reload. Perfect. Okay. So nearly there, nearly there. So the other issue, and probably the last issue we see here, is the animation has stopped working too. So the animation itself is being played, but it is not getting played in the right place. So when I do the fire bullet uh, somewhere around here, let's go to fire, on server, get owner, get your target weapon location, fire bullet, that's working, that's working, making noise, that's working, time of event, that's working. Okay, so that seems to be all okay. So it must be uh, on here, firing montage, play Fine montage. So this is the issue we see. So let's find out where this is getting called. 
And we can see here it's getting called an FP shooter. That's the one we got there. And on fire bullet, play fire montage. So here we're telling it to play the montage of the owner of the uh, of the weapon base. Now the problem is is that the owner may not be correct. The owner may be sending it to the server instead. So let's just add a breakpoint to here and see if what happens when we click on this. Let's get a gun. Okay, so get owner. It's getting FP shooter. C1. And there's one thing you can see though, the server's calling this, that's correct. The server's shooting the gun, but the server needs to tell the owning client, hey, you need to play this montage. So I don't know which one they are. So FP shooter C1, I'm going to guess that is the client uh, because it's second in it. So that's correct there. I'm going to go across to here. Montage is set correctly there. First person measure set correctly, get an instance set correctly, montage play. Okay, so montage play seems to be the issue. That's not going through just fine. But again, this is happening on the server here, which we don't want to happen. We want it to happen everywhere. So we need to have some sort of multicast going in there to tell them all to update their animation. So on the event firing montage here, we're going to make a, a custom event. Firing montage, and I'm going to put that in as a multicast, and then it's going to do exactly the same stuff as this one. So copy that, and then plug in the montage into our event, and then we're playing the firing montage. We're just going to call this one. And plug in the input pin. Okay, let's see if that's working a bit better now. We want everyone to update that animation. So let's go find the other character. There he is. Oh, remove that. There's here. The animation's working fine there. And let's check the other one. Get the other one. Oh, we. It is. There we go. Get there eventually. And I wanted to see working there just fine. Let's go to this character, get a gun. And the server shooting just fine as well. Perfect. Now, if we want the animation to play as well for the third person mesh, we need to make that play there too. So we're going to go over to the, to the first one shooter. And here we've got the first person mesh in it to montage play. Do the same for the main mesh here too. So mesh and we'll do new instance montage play. And the montage we're going to play is that one. So let's now check to see if it's playing for first person and third person. So let's get the gun. So server, playing animation there. Not playing for the right uh, from the third person point of view. Let's work out why that's the case. It may well be that the third person character does not have a, a slot for their character. So let's go check that out. Let's go to their animation blueprint. And we want to go to the anim graph. Got a slot default slot, that's correct. Um, do, 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 do. It seems to be okay. Um, attach weapon actor. Just make sure that animation we're sending it is correct as well. So I need to go to my variant shooter, anims, rifle shoot montage. I'm going to check the slot here. Yeah, there you go. The slot is the arm slot. And my ABP unarmed does not have an arm slot on it. Um, I should also look for the uh, weapon pistol as well. So let's make sure FP weapon has arms in there. 
It's arms. That'd be it for the first person. We want third person pistol. And yeah, it's missing a slot for that. So we'll just chuck it in there. In fact, we'll do a layered blend here for the upper body here. We'll do slot, default slot, and just change that to the arms slot there. And oh, and we're going to put that on to the other animation blueprint, which is the third person rifle one. That'd be, be the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so that's all done. Let's now test that out. And hopefully, we see a result we want to see. Get my pistol. There you go. And we can see now both characters are animating just fine. Perfect. So there you go. We've gone ahead and fixed the arena shooter to work as an online multiplayer variant. Now, there may be a few other things you want to add to it to make it more online multiplayer proficient because if you do let us know in the comments below what kind of online multiplayer settings you want to see added to this maybe you want to see a lobby setup maybe you want to see king of the hill or different time game mode like capture the flag whatever it may be you let me know in the comments below if you want to support the channel head to patreon.com forward slash ryan lady where you can find all my videos early before anyone else so a massive thank you to all our patrons and youtube members for their continued support in the channel thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye everyone